Hey, Fawful. Oh. What? What's 9 plus 10? 21. That's right, guys. Welcome to our new show, R21. This is our equivalent to D23 because those rat bastards at Disney fucking stole our shit. And we're going to tell you guys why and how. All right. So let's start off with the let, let's go through our announcements. So um, as you guys may know, um, I, I'm really appreciative of like the support that I got when I released the first episode of Fully Fully Cross Metal Gear. And I've been saying for a long time that we've been like working on like an episode two for that. And uh, it's still in development. It's still happening. And out of all these announcements, it'll probably be the first one to come out out of all of them. I mean, isn't that right, Raiden? Yes. <laughs> well, he's ready. He's ready to do his voice roles for that. I'm ready to rip. And what about you, Sundowner? What, what do you think? I'm fucking invincible. Let's do this. All right, guys. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. Uh, I, I would do a joke with the character I play in the show, but like the character I play is just my normal voice. So I guess I could be all like, yeah, this is going to be awesome. Yeah, you know, like that. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so yeah. Um, other than that, um, now, these announcements... While, yes, they are all going to be uploaded on my channel, not all of them are going to be made by me. So we're going we're gonna to dedicate these next two announcements to some projects that my, that my friend Fawful here is working on. So Fawful, tell them about your future projects that you're working on. Um, I am personally working on Toy Story 5, which the script is already done with, and Incredibles 3, which is going to be a 2020 timepiece. Yes, and, uh, now here's the thing. Um, for Toy Story 5, right, uh, Disney actually stole one of our ideas for this movie because of the fact that I believe that they are stalking us. Now, for Inside Out, Two, what they did with that one is they had a joke about like you know uh, characters being stuck in jars and in this movie right we're gonna have like a little reference to that little joke on 4chan about you, you know rainbow dash in the cum jar except this time it's buzz lightyear right and another thing that they stole from the from us too is that in this movie like there's gonna be like an army of people in like shitty ass bootleg buzz lightyear suits called Buzz Tank Live here, right? And the thing about it is, is that with that movie, right, you know, in to in their Toy Story 5, Disney's, right, they, they also have an army of Buzz Lightyear's in theirs, too. So, I don't know, that sounds very suspicious. And it's also very suspicious, too, that, like, the vibe and story that we had for, you know, Toy Story 5 was, like, Almost completely replicated in Deadpool and Wolverine. Now, here's the thing. I love Deadpool and Wolverine. I thought it was a really good movie. But I thought it was a really good movie because it had a lot of stuff that we were planning to do. You know? We're, we're still keeping everything that we wrote so far intact. Well, not so far. We're finished with the script. We, we just need people to do fucking storyboard art. You know? But the thing about it is, is that with this, right? With Toy Story 5... But this isn't the only thing that they stole from us. They also stole the idea of doing just an Incredibles 3 in general. Now, here's the thing, right? Now, it'd be one thing if they had, like, a lot of stuff to talk about with this movie when they announced it at D23. But they said that they just started pre-production when, you know, talking about the movie D23. So they probably are only making it just because we plan on making ours. Isn't that right, Fawful? Yeah. Yeah. But regardless of that, though, you know, whatever people say about our Toy Story 5 or Disney's Toy Story 5, regardless, we can very much, or like, you know, say to you guys with 100% certainty that our Toy Story 5 is going to be leagues better than Disney's Toy Story 5. Because at least our story isn't just phone bad and that's it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 
So yeah, like I don't know. We'll we'll see what people say. Maybe people maybe people will love ours more. Maybe they'll love Disney's more. Maybe they might even compare ours to fucking Spider Man Lotus for no reason. I don't fucking know, you know. But whatever the case may be, you know. Now we're gonna talk about uh, what a couple projects that I'm working on for for you know my stuff, right? So for Incredibles three. I'm going to make my very own original movie. I don't say much about this, but what I am going to say is that for this movie, it's going to be like some of the ideas that I had proposed, you know, for my comic that I assume you all know about, but like, it's going to be way fucking better. Trust me. Cause like I had enough time to refine some of my ideas for this original film and Trust me, guys, you will love this movie. You will not be disappointed. It'll be pretty much our magnum opus. Other than, well, you know, Toy Story 5, right, Got Right, right, Fawful? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also, because of, you know, how confident I am in Toy Story 5 being success critically, right? Because of yeah. how well it was written... You know, since this was since Toy Story Five was Fawful's movie, and he is the director, right? Mm -hmm. I am I am tasking him with the role of you know writer for this for this original movie that I'm making because I'm pretty confident that he could actually make something amazing here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. However, because of Disney's announcement of uh, you know Incredibles Three, we we have to delay this original movie back a little bit so that way. You know, we could make our Incredibles 3 before Disney does, right? Mm hmm And so far, from what I've seen, that's, like, the only Pixar sequel that they announced. I mean, yeah, over at Walt Disney Animation Studios, they did announce Moana 2, Zootopia 2, Frozen 3, and Frozen 4. But, like... Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, they said that the story of Frozen 3 is so big that they have to put it in two movies. Like, what, what do they think this is? The fucking Avengers? You know? Yeah, like an ambitious crossover or some shit. Who knows? Like they think that this is going to be like a big old fucking movie. What, are, are they going to have every single princess show up in Frozen 4 or something through the fucking Doctor Strange? But find a way to shoehorn this into the MCU. Mm -hmm. Are they gonna make Are they gonna make Elsa Gate into a real movie? Are they gonna make Elsa and Spider Man finally kiss? Oh God, that would be pure cringe. Look, I'll, listen. All I'm gonna say here for sure about this is that there's only one song that'll be playing in my head when that shows up, and you know what that is? What? I always thought I might be bad, but I'm sure that it's true because I think you're so good and I'm nothing like you. You know, like, like the, the one in all yeah. of Chas videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, whatever the case may be, right? You know, mm -hmm. with this, you know, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be, we're gonna be very intelligent when it comes to this stuff but like yes. anyway so after my original movie the next movie i'm gonna be making is going to be uh you see i've been thinking about either making this like just a normal horror a normal horror movie with sonic in it but now that i'm thinking about what if you made this like a sonic.exe movie now some of you may be hearing that announcement and like scoffing at the idea but hear me out right the thing with these creepypastas is i believe that you know, the people writing them take, like, the concept of them way too freaking seriously. So my solution to that, that flaw would be, like, making this movie very similar to, like, uh, you know, something like Nightmare on Elm Street or, or the Chucky movies. You know, like, stuff like that, right? So it's going to be, well, yes, it's going to be a horror movie. It's going to be very much more, like, comedic in tone because, well, well, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, you can't take a horror concept like that seriously, you know? But, yeah, um, other than that, right, after that movie is finished, because he's like, even after my original movie, I'm still going to be doing stuff on YouTube, right? But regardless, so after that, right, our next few movies are going to be, uh, 
Our next few movies are going to be Despicable Me 4. Now, Fawful, can you tell the audience a little bit about Despicable Me 4? Not 4, 5. I meant to say 5. There's already a Despicable Me 5. We're doing Despicable Me 5. Tell them in about Despicable that. Me, in Despicable Me 5, the main villain is going to be the cat in the hat. The Michael yeah. Myers in the hat. The, the cat in the hat from the Mike Myers movie, yeah. Yep. Now, in case if you couldn't already tell, you know, um, our Toy Story 5 is going to be very heavily based on Toy Story U, if you know what that is, right? Yes. But our Despicable Me 5, it's going to be based on uh, friggin', I, I think the creepy pasta was called Despicable Me Infinite, or, or was it something else? Mm, yes, I think it's called the Despicable Me Infinity, and like there's uh, the Infinite Wrath of Gru. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what ours is gonna be based on. Cause like with with these movies, right? We we kind of want to make these like based on like you know these little troll pastas, right? Except for Incredibles three. Incredibles three, I feel like it's gonna be like its own original idea for the Incredibles. I don't think there was a troll pasta made about them, was there? Um, no, there wasn't. Yeah, so we'll just. So with this one, right, what we'll do is that we'll just make it where it's like an original type thing, right? Mm-hmm. And make now, it based around COVID. Yeah, it's going to be based around COVID. It's going to take place in like 2020, and they're all going to be like really old because like the original movies took place in the 60s. Mm-hmm. That's going to be fun. Um, But yeah, anyway, so other than that, though, right, Um, our final movie for the foreseeable future until we decide to make more stuff after that will be Deadpool, Wolverine, and Spider-Man. Now, Fawful, can you tell them about this movie? Deadpool, Wolverine, and Spider-Man is going to be about um, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine meeting the Spider-Verse characters. Yeah. Yeah, and there's gonna be like other stuff Spider-Man related mixed in here too. Like we're gonna get like uh, you know, Tobey Maguire, Tom Holland, and Andrew Garfield's version of Spider-Man in this. Uh, we're also gonna have uh, we're also gonna have some of the villains in this too, like some of the villains from those three movies, or and we might also see some villains from the Venom verse too. So get ready to morb because it's morbid time, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so far those are all the announcements we have today. Um tune in to fucking 2026's uh R21 and uh we'll have more stuff announced for then. Aside from that though, Fawful, do you know what 9 plus 10 is? 21. Exactly. And I'll see you guys next time. You stupid. <laughs>